Merong dalawang bagay na pwede natin gawin para makaiwas sa pag-overshoot sa isang corner. Gusto nyo pag-usapan natin, pagkwentohan natin? Alright, so welcome to another video dito sa Man Cannot Ride. Ako po si Sky Repa. But first, I would like to say thank you to 30 Pandilio. Bro, maraming maraming salamat sa kind words of support. Alam mo, na-realize ko na madalas kong nafe-feature yung mga reaction ko sa negative feedback. Pero mas maganda siguro na i-feature natin yung positive feedback kagaya ng feedback mo. So again, maraming maraming salamat sa suporta mo. It's, it's inspirational for me na merong nakaka-appreciate sa mga ginagawa natin dito sa Man Cannot Ride. So thank you so much bro. And you enjoy this video, alright? Okay. And para naman dun sa kaibigan ko na dati kong katrabaho, sabi niya, meron pa namang trainer na hindi kita mukha pag nagtuturo. <laughs> Lukaret kasi yung kaibigan ko yun. Okay, so ito, pagbibigyan ko yung kapricho mo, ha? O, oh, kita mo na yung mukha ko. Kita mo yung whiteboard. Hindi ko alam kung saan mo gagamitin tong video na ito. Alam kung hindi ka naman nagbumotor. <laughs> but, mag-aral ka na magmotor. Bumili ka ng motor at magmotor ta mag-ride tayo, okay? Alright, para sa ito. Alright, pag-usapan natin. Let's go to the topic of overshooting the corner. Yan ang pinaka nakakatakot na gagawin, magagawa natin sa pag-corner. <laughs> Nung nagbe-break in ako ng motor ko, si Octavia, my CF Moto 400NK, pumunta ako ng marilaki kasi doon ko bine-break in sa twisties. Nakakatakot, nakakatakot yung feeling na nag-overshoot ka ng corner. Ito yung you are running wide into the corner. Ito yung feeling na lumiliko ka pero hindi ka pumupunta doon sa nilid. gusto mong liko. Oh, 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 bakit? 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 <laughs> Anong ginawa ko? Anong ginawa ko? Anong ginawa ko? Yun. Ay na nagpapanik na. So, overshooting the corner is really bad. But, there's a solution. Yan, meron tayong solusyon. At napakasimple ng solusyon. Kita nyo naman sa whiteboard. Oh, yung 2 minutes na. Kasi karamihan nanonood lang hanggang 2 minutes. Oh, ito na yung explanation. Kaya nyo na bang ipaliwanag on your own? Self-explanatory na ba? Oh, yan. Oh, screenshot nyo na. Alright. Okay. Pasensya na ko. Ito may mga shadow-shadows. Alright. So, ngayon, para naman doon sa mga gusto mga pagkwentuhan. Pagkwentuhan natin. The solution for overshooting the corner is to slow down. Oh, pag, bigyan mo yan natin ng konting context. So, you are a big bike rider. Tuwan-tuwa ka nakapag, nakapag big bike ka. Nakapag big bikes ka. So, at naniniwala ka na yung sa traditional na paniniwala na ang sukatan ng pagiging magaling na rider ay kung mabilis ang iyong cornering speed. Which is, sana baguhin mo na yun. Pero anyway, nandito ko ngayon, umaakit ka ng, oh, nagko-cornering ka, pero you are overshooting the corner. Chances are, number one, you are entering the corner too hot. Hindi yung hot na sexy ha, pero you too fast. Alright. Masyadong mataas yung, yung, cornering, yung corner entry speed mo. Or number two, you are not aware of counter steering. You're not aware of proper steering. You're not aware of proper leaning. You're not aware of proper body position. You're not aware of how to enter the corner properly. Pero wag natin pag-usapan yun. Mag-focus muna tayo sa speed. Alright, ito yung kasing um, madalas na dahilan. You are entering the corner too fast. Okay, so pagpasok mo ng corner, yun nga, lumili, gusto mo lumiko sa kanan, pero hindi ka, hindi ka pumupunta doon sa kanan at kumikipot-kipot na yung puwet mo, <laughs> natatay-tay ka na, oh my God, dahil meron kang kasalubong na sasakyan. Alright, wag naman sana mangyari, okay? Now, so the solution to that is of course to slow down. Kasi nga, masyadong malak, mabilis yung pasok mo, ba? So, slow down. And how are you going to do that? Dalawang bagay lang yan. Ito na yung dalawang solusyon. Number one is to zero your throttle. Nasa straight tayo, papasok pa lang ng corner, we have to slow down. And the first thing you need to do is to close the throttle. Zero throttle. So, straight, bago pa lang tayo mag-tip in, close the throttle. Uh, do not close it na parang yung china chop yung sobrang bilis no just just gently close the throttle before you go into the tip in point so ibig sabihin nasa straight nasa straight ka pa lang inihahanda mo na yung sarili mo wag mo nang walwalin hanggang dulo ihanda mo na yung sarili mo i-prepare mo na kumbaga sa billiard may preparasyon ayan so engine braking zero throttle before you tip into the corner. But, 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 okay. Kulang yan ha, kulang. Kasi may number two. Use your front brakes. 
marami ang kakamot ang ulo dito dahil sabi ng mga matatanda nung panahon pa ng hapon huwag mong gagamitin ang preno kapag nasa kurbada sa katunayan yung mga kilala kong mga naka RS Yamaha RS100 or 110 nung unang panahon ay dinidisable nila ang kanilang mga front brakes dahil yun daw ay isesemplang ka lang now okay, today is 2022 at nag-advance na ang technology natin so hindi na pwede yung paniniwalang yun alright, the front, the front brakes are your best friend in cornering pagkwentohan natin alright, so zero throttle hindi ko na kailangan niyang masyadong himay-himayin basta before you enter the corner entry or before you enter the corner preparation zero throttle alright then after zeroing the throttle pag nag engine brake na so your front suspension will dive pag nag engine brake magda dive yung front suspension mag magko compress yung front suspension that will give your front tire the grip Okay, the grip. Alright? And when you have the grip, yun na. Pwede, maganda na yung cornering nun. Kasi may grip ka na. Then, second, use the front brake. Use the front brake. Engage mo na yung front brake. It's your judgment. It's your decision. Hindi ko pwede, pwedeng sabihin na 5%, 10%, 20%. It's your decision. Depende sa kung ano yung pakiramdam mo. Kasi ang hahabulin mo is to slow down to the appropriate speed. Bakit? Kasi ito oh, nasa taas, nakabox pa. Speed equals radius. Ano ba yung radius na tinatawag? Ang radius ng turn, ito, ito, wide radius. Wide. Ito, tight radius or small radius. Ito, medium radius. Ito, wide radius. Tight radius. Ayan. Alright? Yan yung radius na tinatawag. Now, the faster you go into the corner, the wider your radius will be. The slower you go into the corner, your radius will tighten. So ngayon, pag nag-overshoot, ano ba nangyari sa overshoot? Ang nangyari sa overshoot is you enter the corner too fast at nakita mo na your radius is widening. Lumuluwag yung radius mo. So what do you do? You reduce your speed. You slow down so that you will tighten the radius. When you tighten the radius, teka, haba naman ng motor na to. Ito na lang. Ayan, oh. So, when you enter the corner and you are overshooting the corner, you slow down and it will tighten the radius papasok ka uli sa kurbada and you will be safe. Now, let's say break tayo natin. You enter the corner pero sobrang bagal mo naman at kita mo yung radius mo is kumikipot na kumikipot na kumikipot. Eh, sa sample lang ka rin naman dyan sa mga namimitik-mitik at mga nagbibideo-video sa tabi-tabi. So, you can go a little bit faster para makuha mo yung radius ng corner. Alright? Speed equals radius. Napakahalaga niyan. Speed equals radius. Because again, ang solusyon sa pag-overshoot is to slow down. And the proper way of slowing down before a, before, ha, before a corner is to zero your throttle and use the front brakes to help you steer the bike. Now, ang problema is eh, Sky, nandun na ako sa, nasa kurbada na ako, nag-overshoot na ako eh. Doon nga yung papasok yung kahalagahan na alam mong gamitin yung proper brakes. Kaya nga, in the first place, let's just say, nandito ka na sa kurbada, nag-overshoot ka na. Eh, hindi ka naka-engage naka yung front brakes. Naka, nakabukas yung throttle mo. So, gagawin mo? You will slow down. You will zero the throttle. Papasok ng konti yan. Eh, papaano yung front brakes? Kapag, kapag nasa gitna ka na ng kurbada at dyan mo palang piniga yung front brake as in pigam piga ha yung biglaan sa semplang ka maglo low side ka na so ano ba talaga ang proper way dapat bago pa lang tayo mag intrada ng kurbada alam na natin yung proper way so this is the proper way when you use the front brake you use it progressively okay squeeze the brake ito yung tinatawag na brake light initiative. Ito yung sinasabi sa champ you. Alright. Brake light initiative is you use the brakes more often. Gamitin mo palagi while cornering. You zero the throttle, nag-compress yung suspension, 
dumagdag, mas lumakas ang grip ng front end, you engage the brake, maybe f- kung ano yung judgment mo na kailangan mo sa brake, you hold the pressure of the brake, then you turn in. When you turn in, dahil you are using zero throttle and you are using the front brake, you will slow down. And when you slow down, your radius will tighten. Kung napanood yung iba ko pang video, sabi ko sabi ko doon is it is advisable to enter the corner from the from the outside. From the outside going to the middle then going outside again. All right. Now, so if you are starting from the outside at hindi mo ginawa to, then you you will really overshoot the other side. If you are starting from the inside at hindi mo ginawa to, you will still overshoot the middle of the road. Now, let's just say Nandito ka sa inside, ginawa mo to, you might end up dun sa dulo, dun sa kabilang side, dun sa in- inside. So, delikado rin yun. That's why my advice is to enter the corner from the outside, outside part of the lane. Alright, para tayong basketball ito. So, when you enter the corner from the outside and you use zero throttle and front brakes before you tip in the bike, before you even enter the corner, your radius will tighten. Okay, from the outside going to the middle, sapat na yon, okay na yon. Maintain, 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 maintain. Nandun na yung exit mo, go to the outside again. To go to your exit. And then in preparation for the next turn. Or for the next straight. So dapat, sa una pa lang, alam natin kung how to, how to use the front brakes. Straight, you slow down by zero throttle. Front suspension will compress. There will be more grip sa front tire. You initiate the brake, brake light initiative, and you keep that brake pressure, then you tip in. You tip in, you, you start cornering, you start leaning. And when you are adding lean angle, what do you do? You release some of the brake pressure, and that is what you call trail braking. I have videos on trail braking dito sa library, hanapin nyo na lang, hindi ko na sinama dito. Alright, so now you are trail braking into the corner, into the core, trail braking into the corner. You are using your brakes, okay? Use the brakes until you are happy with your speed and direction. Kung nandito ka pa lang and you're using the brakes, eh, dito ka pa nakaturo. Nandito ka pa lang, you're using the brakes, pero dito nakaturo yung motor mo. Are you happy with your speed and direction? Oh yeah, I'm happy with my speed, but I'm not happy with my direction. So still, use the brakes. Use the brakes. Oh, nandito ka na, di ba? Nandito ka na. Nakaturo ka na dito. Are you happy with your direction? Yes, I'm happy with my direction. But are you happy with your speed? Hindi, sobrang bilis pa. So keep using the brakes. Keep using the brakes. Keep using the brakes. Until nandito ka na. Yan, nandito ka na. You are happy with your speed. You are happy with your direction. And that's the time that you can let go of the brake pressure and then now you can add throttle inputs and then pwede ka nang umarangkada in preparation for the next corner or for the next straight. So, isummarize lang natin. Ayan, para kasha sa 15 minutes. Ano? So, ang solusyon sa pag-overshoot sa isang, para makaiwas sa pag-overshoot sa isang corner o kapag nag-overshoot ka na, ang solusyon is to slow down. Now, the better solution is Bago ka pa pumasok sa isang corner, dapat alam na natin yung proper cornering procedure. So, slow down by using zero throttle and use your front brakes. Hindi lang pang slow down, pero pang steering na rin. Again, the front brakes are your best friend in cornering. Believe it or not, manood kayo ng Champ U at ng mga videos sa Champ School, you will understand what I'm saying. So use your front brakes, the brake light initiative, dapat naka-on yung brake lights mo while cornering. Use the front brakes until you are happy with your speed and direction. Hindi lang sa front brakes, pwede mong gamitin ng rear brakes, pwedeng sabay. Depende sa pangangailangan mo sa sitwasyon. Yan yeah, yung, yung mukha ko nawawala, magre-reklamo na yung kaibigan ko. Alright, so yan yung dalawang simpleng bagay na pwede natin gawin to prevent overshooting or kapag nag-overshoot na tayo ito yung makakatulong sa atin to get back into our line and to go back into our riding alright sana nakapulutan nyo ng kapakipakinabang ng video na to well um, sana lalabas ako pero biglang umulan so I'll see you on the road so, um, whenever I'll see you on another video this is Man Cannot Ride thank you so much for watching